All right, this suturing technique is called a baseball stitch. It's basically multiple simple interrupted in a row that will span the length of an entire incision. You can do this over simple interrupted, or you can just do this if you have a long incision um, and you're trying to save time, or it also helps in, in some indications to decrease um, tension over the wound because it's spread out along a, one big stitch. So we start at the top of our wound with one simple interrupted. Okay, tie it the same way that we tie everything else. So you put your needle driver in between your two um, tails here, your, your tail and your suture line. Two loops, surgeon's knot, there's your square knot. Two. Three, four, I like to do a couple extra on this one because it's really our only knot holding it in place. So there's six, you can do as, as many as you want. We'll cut that a little bit. And you're just cutting the one tail, leaving the rest of your suture attached to your needle. And what we're going to do next is um, the same thing, you're just gonna keep doing simple interrupted. So about two per centimeter, generally speaking, and you want them, and this will look nicer if they're all the same distance from the wound edge. Okay, so this is where I reload right there. And the next one, in and out, same distance from the wound edge. And you'll see exactly why it's called a baseball stitch, because it looks like baseball stitching. You just want to make sure that you come out with your needle, not in your loop. Um, that's a different technique that locks each one. That's not what we're doing here. So every time you pull it through, it tightens it down a little bit more. And it's not about speed. Um, being faster at this will come with time, generally speaking. Um, it's You just wanna practice it the right way every time so that you have the correct technique and then you will get faster as time goes on the more you do it. So we're just gonna pretend this is the end of our incision here. Actually, I think I can get away with one more with this suture length. And we're gonna leave a little loop, same as before. My suture is pretty short, so I have to make sure not to stab myself with that needle, but we're gonna use this as our tail to tie to. Okay, so there's our two throws for the surgeon's knot. Grab our tail. And see how it will lay flush down. Grab our tail again in the opposite direction. And you always, when you're pulling your loop, do it with an open needle driver because if the, the knot doesn't pull through evenly, you might have like a little bunny ear in the knot it, and that will go away if you, you know, pull, tug both sides of your loop or if you tug your loop with a open needle driver. All right, so I think that's number four and we'll do an extra two because we only have two knots holding this whole thing together. Five and six. Okay, and then we're gonna cut our our tail and our suture line at the end at the same length. And there's your baseball stitch. <laughs>